Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. We are finally doing a video that's featuring a bassist. I'm excited. I'm a bass player too. Now, usually we do videos with artists that I've never seen or I've ever heard of before, but uh, I am a fan of Mohini Day, so this is not new, but I've just, I've never seen this piece. And she's playing with Marco Miniman, so I've never seen her play with him before, so I'm excited. This video is from Sweetwater's YouTube page, and the reason I picked it was because of the video description, so I'm just going to read it to you. It says, in this video, bass guitar virtuoso Mohini Day and German drumming icon Marco Miniman play a fun game involving Conical, the art of performing percussion syllables vocally and a prominent feature of South Indian Carnatic music. Be sure to watch until the end as Mohini and Marco demonstrate the awesome dy dynamic feel and incredible energy Conical can imbue in the rhythm section. So, this is going to be sweet. I already know it's going to be awesome. So, I'm excited. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. That is sick. That uh wow. It's not it's like why even try to count the rhythmic phrases, just like sit back and listen. We are gonna go back. I just need to get that again because of how clean that was. And like I really love how light he's playing on the uh on the toms there to allow the vocal to be the uh, prominent voice on top. That that's just Super good, man. Those transitions from, I'm not going to even attempt to, <laughs> she's like, digga, digga, digga. but, uh, the, the basic, the triplet, the 16 transitions were just really, really clean. One, That's two, good. three, four. That is so cool, man. Oh, good, man. The hi-hat just, so between the toms and the hi-hat, that just mixed with that, uh, <laughs> with that, like, rhythmic melody is so good. All right, going back five seconds, and here we go. <laughs> what just happened right there? Man, okay, there's been like four of those where they're just finishing the phrases coming out of each other. That is just really, it's really, really nice. Sorry, I need to see that little trip triplet switch up on the hi hat again. That was nice. We're going back ten seconds. <laughs> this is very funky. Also, that you see how like a Falker just comes to the first and third, and we get real thin notes coming out. I 
love how much she's laying back in those harmonics just on the back side of the beat and that just got that got real dirty right that got r-rated all of a sudden Oh, I love how he caught her about to go to go to go to go to go the uh, eighth the triplet 16th thing as she's ascending up the neck and he just grabs onto that it sounds so good every time I watch her and like Tao play I always feel like I'm like man I'm like way too I don't have enough like movement on the neck happening because these people are just so damn good <laughs> Nice come on that e ah e ah e ah e ah. That was I was waiting for him to grab onto that and see where we go with that. That was pretty cool. Man, we we got. I was getting in the stank face mode there, and then she played. I don't know. I don't even know what just happened. I'm gonna go back ten seconds because it was dirty, and then there was a lot of notes. Where she plays over the uh just she plays so far to the right that, that we just get a real um super super kind of articulated almost nasally treble sound it's very like you know I, I love the play over there i just feel like i mean i was like a kid when i discovered jocko and i was like oh that's that's the kind of sound i want where i need to play over the uh, uh the pickup and just get super super you know articulate but i mean this is you know this is different than jocko sound but the point being i just like how um I can hear everything. Okay, man, we came out of that low end, and then all of a sudden, and then we've completely transitioned in the field. I love it, man. It's just the living, you know, the, this, the evolution of some, you know, the very, very difficult rhythmic uh, stuff we talked about in the video description, the head at the beginning to where we're at right now. Obviously, we've, we've traveled some distance here. <laughs> Wow, her pinky is super extended and flat. There. I don't think I've. That's cool. I don't think I noticed her when she slaps like that before. I mean, I'm sure she's been doing it forever. I just haven't picked up on it before. Oh 
got that unlocked, dude. Uh, sorry, I need to, I need to hear all that sixty no triple stuff going on. Uh yeah, <laughs> that's really impressive. <laughs> Look at her thumb traveling between, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, there's so much energy happening in the uh, right hand thumb here. How many downs? Sorry to keep rewinding. I just, I have to. I mean, there's like, I can't tell how many downstrokes and upstrokes are happening with the thumb here. It's just super aggressive. Okay, that was a lot. That was the uh, the obligatory build here. Mm. Okay, that that transition coming out was real nice. We need that. We need that drum fill again. Hold up. Sorry, we I just wasn't ready for that idea. Okay, we are going somewhere else now. Okay, here we go. Man, I love that that was his answer to all the boom, boom, all the, the palm sweeps there. That was so good. Sorry, I, I need that one again. That was that was so nice. I'm going back 10 on that one. The way he made the hi-hat uh, just modulate and pitch was cool. Press down harder in your foot.
Uh, that was a super, super fun trading sequence. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of notes have happened in both sides there. Uh, just some of those calls and responses were just <laughs> next level. <laughs> before to see what this final statement is uh those of you that you know i have a i have a uh, a varied audience on this channel um if you if you play if you're a musician already you already know what you just saw um if you don't play you need to understand that the vocal part there and what he was playing on drums accompanying that is much harder than any when we saw all the notes that were going like nine thousand miles an hour all the trading back and forth that's way more normal in the musician wheelhouse uh especially with you know like jazz musicians that have a lot of chops and just you're just in that setting uh, you, it's more of a familiar setting. That part we just heard, all the complicated stuff rhythmically that was going on, and the going down the bass stuff with her vocalizing all that, and him playing with that, and then augmenting as it went on. That's super challenging. I would love to see the lead sheet for that and just see how the the head's written out because um, there's there's just no room. There's no room for error. You know, like so that was uh super 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 impressive. I like the, that any one more than the uh, beginning one, to be honest. All right, let's keep going. We got a minute left. Hmm. Great video, man. Great video. That was a uh, a display of the uh, the previously spoken of uh, Indian style of music, just created here in this duet between bass, vocals, and uh, drums. And then we had a lot of jam stuff in the middle and just chop central. And then we got it again in the end. And man, that ending part was so cool. So um, I'm glad that I kind of just went looking. I was like, you know what? Let's find it. Let's find a different video. So. I'm glad we could do that. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure and catch me when I'm live. We're going to talk about Mahina Day and other bass players or just music in general. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below as well as the link for the Discord. If you like this video, make sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. All right. Thanks so much for watching. That was a lot of fun. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>